Well, I'm on the farm today and uh, it's raining. We've been uh, real busy making ready for our family reunion and, and we had it and all that's over with. I've trimmed around the barn here and uh, kind of pulled some equipment out there. So it's looking pretty good. But the rain kind of gives a little emphasis to what I'm going to talk about here today. And uh, a lot of people ask me, you know, why do you have uh, kicker wagons and not an accumulator grapple? And uh, and they always ask, you know, they're always asking, what's this yellow tank here on the baler? And... Uh, so, a few weeks ago, we were up here baling hay, and of course, I'm time challenged with my day job, and uh, so we cut this field uh, and baled it, and I believe this is uh, teff grass or teeth grass. It's kind of come in volunteer from seed, and uh, it's actually looking really good since I cut it. And, uh, but the, the reason we use the kicker wagons uh, are twofold. One of them is they're just cheap. You can buy a running gear and you can build the frames uh, pretty cheap. If you're buying used equipment, you know, a kicker, uh, they're really, you can buy a used kicker uh, pretty inexpensive now too for John Deere or uh, New Holland. Uh, you see them on I've seen them on dealer lots just taking off the baler and sitting on the you know in the in the gravel lot where the uh, Where the implements are and uh, you know people are like I say they're going with these accumulated grapples. So we were up here uh, baling hay and uh, We thought we had plenty of time But we we didn't. We had some storms move in. And what was really bad about it is right above those trees up there, just across the next ridge, there was uh, a lot of lightning and thunder. I mean, it looked like a 4th of July fireworks show going off uh, over there. And uh, so I was bailing this field up. And... Uh, on that particular day, the humidity was just really, really high. And uh, I have a moisture meter on my baler, which I think you've seen before. And uh, so, you know, the, the humidity was getting up 18, 20, 22 percent on the hay. Uh, more than likely just dew moisture, but I felt the need to bring on the hay preservative uh, just in case. And so, uh, so what I did is uh, I baled the hay and, and as, the, as, as the lightning got closer, you know, I picked up my speed a little bit and we finally got it on the wagons. We had, uh, a, we had two wagons and really a third one, which I'll show you here in a minute. But uh, right about the time we quit, I put the... Uh, I put the trailer in, I put the uh, baler in transport and I drove around the side of the barn and we already had that wagon in here and I drove around the side of the barn and I just drove the tractor and the baler and the wagon into the barn and, and, uh, and then we had a few bales on this wagon right here my P, P. Buckley moss wagon. Uh, some of those are, are laying over there, but I've sold hay already off of this wagon. And I've sold some off of this wagon. And uh, just a few bales uh, kind of up in there. But I didn't really get any video uh, baling this hay, but the point I'm making is uh, it was it was it was going to be dark soon. We had storms coming in, 
and while we don't have an accumulator grapple we have a, a mechanism here that'll the, the bales never touch the ground they come off of this pan kicker right into the wagons and that saved the day because we're able to uh, you know we were able to just pull right into this barn and uh, get the hay off the field so when it as soon as we got in here it started raining I mean we were walking out of the barn and it literally started raining uh, just like it is right now and uh, so being able to put the bales right on the wagon saved us another trip on the field we'd have lost all this hay if we'd have had an accumulator grapple I, I think because uh, we'd had to I'd have had to make another trip out on the field one of my boys was here helping but uh, we'd have had to make another trip across the field and we'd had to hustle the wagons and uh, so that kind of that kind of saved the day the fact that we could had the hay on the wagon right off the baler and then uh, pulled it into the pulled it into the barn and then because the moisture was reading high uh, I brought on my hay preservative system, which is uh, a buffered propionic acid. And uh, I put it on pretty heavy. Uh, I didn't I didn't want to take any chances with, uh, you know, dust or mold or moreover, just the, the bales heating up. And uh, they've been really stable. Uh, I haven't seen any, you know, temperatures. Uh, spikes in the bales and uh but two things going on here uh the bales right in the wagon and right in the barn and then because of the higher moisture with the dew coming uh we were able to uh, bring on the hay preservative applicator and uh kind of saved the day we got some hay in here and uh this is probably cow quality hay there's a lot of weeds uh in that grass out there and uh but nonetheless uh we'll get a pretty good price uh haze in short supply already and uh we're able to get that hay off the field and this field has been a real surprise i'm gonna walk out here in the in the rain a little bit and i'm probably gonna spray this with 2,4-D to try to keep it cleaned up uh Again, I'm 99% certain that what I got here is uh, teff grass or teeth grass. And uh, I let it go to seed, and it overwintered and just came in. I was really surprised it did that. And uh, so we're going to hit it with uh, 2,4-D and try to get it clean and try to get some second. And this stuff, you can sometimes you can cut it every 30 days and uh, try to get some really high-dollar second cutting hay off of it so i want to clean it up with some 2,4-D and uh so that's kind of the deal with the uh the video here you know we got the hay off the field uh, we got it in the wagons and in the barn we got the hay preservative on it and uh so when we do sell it it won't be all dusty and moldy because of that and uh so we should get a pretty decent price, even though it's kind of cow quality hay. And uh, live another day. Kind of anxious to see what that yields out there. So hope you enjoyed the video. C comment, subscribe, and we'll talk to you later.